In this video, I want to go over the weekly newsletter from Flying Research. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print on demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. Now before I go ahead and show you the newsletter, let's just do a quick sales update. So right now it is 6.34 p.m. on Saturday evening and I'm at 49 sales and $66 in royalties. It's the second day of the month, so that's going to put me at 94 sales and $117 for the month of March. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post my daily sales for both Merch by Amazon and Etsy, the link is in the description. I also post like gym picks, entrepreneur picks, lifestyle picks, just like my life down here in Mexico. I'm born and raised in Mill Valley, California, but I've been living in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for the past 18 years. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the content of the video. So if you're subscribed with Flying Research, and I'm actually going to show you how I use Flying Research after I'm done going over the newsletter. But when you're signed up with Flying Research, they're going to send you this newsletter every Friday. And I like it because it just kind of gives us a little update about what's going on with merch and then gives us a low competition evergreen niche, sometimes even two, even though lately it's just been one. But so the first thing that they say is they talk about this... Um, uh, this Amazon merch deal breaker that's happening in Europe. Now, me personally, I don't really upload designs up to Europe, so I have not been invited. But basically, what they're saying is that if you're selling on European marketplaces, there's a good chance you've been invited to participate in not one, but two new deal campaigns announced by merch or by Amazon merch. One is aimed at evergreen designs, while the other one focuses on event related designs. However, a concerning aspect of these campaigns in Amazon is Amazon's lack of transparency regarding which ASINs are involved. This submission makes it challenging to assess the potential benefits of participation. For those considering their options, um, Amazon Merch does offer the possibility to opt out of these deals. Although the deadline was yesterday, for the sake of transparency, we chose to opt out. The absence of specific ASIN information is a deal break for us, and we believe Amazon needs to enhance its communication strategy in this area. So, like I said, I didn't get invited because I'm not really selling on a European marketplace. But me personally, like if Amazon were to send me a, a message like this, offering inviting me, I would definitely would have jumped on it. But maybe I don't know more information. You know, maybe you have to pay or something like that. But I just I'm I don't really understand why they didn't accept it. But I mean, they say why. But for me, I would have jumped on it. But that's just my opinion. To each their own. And then they talk about this trend, this reading trend that's been going on. So if you've been on Amazon lately and you've just seen some of the trending designs, you're going to be noticing that there's been a lot of book designs popping up. And they're saying that the reason why is because that this trend, trend is linked to reading across America, a series of initiatives and events aimed at enhancing reading and literacy, literacy across the United States. Um, but what's going on is a lot of people are uh, making like Dr. Seuss designs and you don't want to do that. That's going to get your account in trouble. So it's fine to make reading designs, but don't do anything related to like Dr. Seuss, anything like that. It's just going to get you in trouble. And then they have some deleted designs, you know, like the Bob Marley movie, One Love, Mega Death. That's a band. Every little thing is going to be all right is a Bob Marley song. I'm not too sure why these ones are um, been taken down. Hurley is a clothing brand. Usually like these ones right here, they have some type of keyword in their listing that might have gotten them in trouble. But just, you know, just use common sense and don't do anything related to like movies, uh, Taylor Swift songs, you know, professional sports, things like that. All right. And then we get to the good part, the part where they suggest or recommend a low competition niche. And the niche that they have for us is Kintsungi. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, but basically what it is, is Kintsungi, also known as Kintsuroki, is a traditional Japanese art form and philosophy that mends broken pottery using liqueur mixed with powdered gold, silver, or platinum. The term kintsungi translates, translates to golden joinery in English, and it is a practice that not only repairs but also beautifies the item, highlighting its fractures and history rather than concealing them. Kintsungi represents a profound approach to material culture, one that values repair as an integral part of an object's history, transforming apparent flaws into attributes of beauty and strength. So to be honest, it sounds pretty cool in my opinion. Um, now the search volume looks like it's highest during April and October. Well, one thing that is cool is that we can see that this is trending up um, over the past five years, which is what we want to see. Usually it's just the majority of the uh, evergreen niches that they recommend are just kind of flat. So this is like the first one I see that's trending up, which is good. And then the key metrics, the one that's most important is this one that's in green. How many Amazon merch shirts are there? And they're saying that there's only 50. Now when I uh, check that using Merch Informer and I type in Kitsungi and hit enter, we're going to see that there is a little more, um, 102 results, but that's still very low in competition. 
And we can see that these have BSRs. Some of them have a uh, review. So this looks like it's low in competition and it is selling, which in my opinion is exactly what we want. Let's go back to the newsletter here. Um, so it's going to give us some keyword top performers for both Google and Amazon. So like Kintsugi Pottery, meaning art, uh, artwork, repair kit. And a couple facts that they give is that this is a clear uptrend for years, as we can see right here. Uh, fact two is ridiculously high search volume and keywords are linked to a few online products. And when we take a deeper dive into this, we can see some of the designs right here. A lot of them have hearts, which I noticed, like these two right here, this one as well. Um, and right here, they give us some like tips on how to design for this. Oh, I got a cancellation. No big deal. It's just part of the business. Um, so here they're telling us to focus on elements that symbolize transformation and renewal, incorporating gold patterns that represent healed scars. Designs that blend the aesthetic elegance of Kintsugi with quotes about growth and recovery can resonate deeply with those who see life's breaks as opportunities for enhancement, appealing to art lovers and mindfulness, uh, mindfulness enthusiasts alike. You also have to mention that the designs on Amazon merch are currently very, very basic designs. Yes, I would agree with that. Here are a couple of phrases that they recommend. I've not checked these for trademarks, so make sure to do your uh, research and due diligence. Embrace your cracks. They're your gold from shatter to shining. And then they give us some uh, keywords, single keywords and long tail keywords. And then one of my favorite parts is that they give us a better example listing. So here's the brand title, basically always keyword stuffing, which I like. And then they give us two bullet points. And then they also give it a score. And this is the highest score that I've seen for a niche since I've been doing these flying research videos. They give them a seven for a niche, nine for potential and eight for organic. I think if you do the math there, it's 24 if you add them all up, which is pretty good. And then they give us this, um, uh, what's it called, clip art that we can use free for commercial use. And if you like, you can actually go to this guy's store on Etsy and you can make purchases. But this one is free. And I actually went ahead and made a design using this. So this is it right here. And basically, this is the way that I design. I usually get my designs from Creative Fabrica, but sometimes they don't have what I'm looking for. Um, and right here, this is the way I like to do it. I just like to take some type of clip art and I put text on the top and bottom. The key though is you gotta find a, a font that works well. And I think this font right here is kind of distressed. It looks kind of like broken or repaired, so I think it works well. Now, this isn't the best design ever, but I think it is just as good or maybe even better than kind of what we are seeing right here. I basically took this uh, design right here and did something kind of similar. And then I went ahead and I used the um, their keywords so I went ahead and uploaded this right here uh, using their keywords. But when I did a trademark search, like here you can see I upload the design and I popped in all their keywords that they recommended. But one of their keywords is coming up as trademark. All right. So that's why it's important that you have these extensions. You know, I still have the productor extension, even though the templates are working. Um, when you have the merch informer, they also have one as well, too. But what I would do here is I would just get rid of this. Um, get rid of this right here and then they also have the spirit now that's probably fine but just to play on the safe side I don't care if the bullet points make sense or not I just want the keywords basically and then I would just run it again just to make sure that everything looks safe um, another thing you can do while it's doing that is you can hit this button right here and it will combine the two bullet points to add in a product description but it looks like everything looks good. Me personally, I don't worry about the single ones, the yellow ones. I'm only worried about the phrases, the red ones. All right, so it looks good. So then I can go ahead and publish it. But that is going to be the niche that they're recommending for us uh, today. Um, now let's go ahead and do a quick um, flying research tutorial and show you how I like to use it. I'm just going to get my ugly face out the way here. So the reason why I like flying research, you know, I'm a happy customer with them. That's why I like making these videos and recommending their product. Uh, but it's the seller trends right here. So if you go to seller trends and the way I like to set it up is United States t-shirt newest, um, advanced options, one week, and then newcomers. And here we can see some trending niches uh, uh, and designs. People are always asking me, how do you find your trending niches? Well, this is one of the ways that I do it right here. And so this can give us ideas about what is trending and give us some niche ideas. So right here, we're going to see world down syndrome. So Down syndrome is going to be trending here soon. I think it's in maybe April. You might have to fact, be, fact check me on that. We know that the Eclipse um, has been selling well. One thing that I like to do is I like to look for duplicates. And this one right here where it says he is risen. I made a, a video about this talking about what the word Riz means. It's basically just like game in the United States. But they're cross-niching it with Jesus and basketball. And we're going to see that another one 
right where'd it go right here he is risen guys getting dunked on i think there's actually another one as well right here and right here so right away we can see that this style is trending they have bsrs it's cross niching this new slang term riz with jesus and basketball so that might be something to take a look at um, but we're also going to see other niches that are trending so we have um you know easter coming up this right here is women's international day but i think that's next week so you're gonna have to be quick if you want to jump onto that that niche like this right here this is dr sue stuff you could tell by the font and the colors right here you don't want to do that we got baseball coming up i know it's this style right here mind your business I need to pay for softball. You can do a design like this, but just instead of saying softball, you can do some type of other sport or other type of niche. Um, right here we have colon cancer. I made a video about that. You want to do like uh, for years that people are surviving. Right here we're going to see Dr. Seuss. Definitely don't want to do that. Um, another baseball one. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure baseball mom is trademarked. But again, you might have to fact check me on that. But the niche that I wanted to show you that I thought had probably the most potential, the one that I would get into, is this one right here that says, um, where is it? Give me a second. Right here. My husband is 40 and still hot. So we saw this come out about maybe a week ago. And, you know, there's some people making similar ones. But what I would do here is I would niche down and I would, you know, f focus on certain types of husbands. So I'd be like, my Mexican husband is hot or my Mexican husband is 40 and still hot. You know, my black husband is 40 and still hot. My French husband is 40 and still hot. My Italian husband is 40 and still hot. So I would make like, um, I would focus on races and ethnicities, like uh, where people are from, nationalities. And also, you know, you don't have to just do 40. You can do 50. So you can do my Mexican husband is 50 and still hot. So I would basically take this design and niche it down to certain races, nationalities, and change the certain types of years. The majority of people are going to do like the main ones, like 40, 50, 60. If you focus on like 47, there's probably not too many people doing that. And then if you were to cross an issue even more with like my Mexican husband or my black husband or my Greek husband or my you know Chinese husband, I think that could get you some sales. All right. Now, if you want to sign up for Flying Research, I have a link in my description. So you go to my videos or this video right here. It's going to be this fifth link right here. And it will take you to this page. And they actually have a sale going on right now. It's their fourth birthday. So you get 40% off. Um, I think I'm paying like 20 bucks a month. So that's going to knock it down to maybe 11 or 12 bucks. They have other packages. But me, I just like the basic one. Because all I really want is the trendy niches. I don't care about trademark stuff. I don't care about AI stuff. I just want to know what is recently trending. All right. So if you're interested... Uh, click on the link. Um, it is a fill link, so if you do sign up using my link, I do get a small uh, commission. Um, but that is basically going to be it. Oh, and la one last thing that I want to say also is uh, Philip Anders just put out a video today, and he's got some really good niches in this video. So make sure that you go to his channel, check out this video, subscribe. You probably already are because he's a really good uh, YouTuber, but he's got some good niches right here, and he's also offering a giveaway for Flying Research, so you can sign up for that. Um, I want to show some love for Philip because he interviewed me, and he got me a bunch of subscribers, so just a way that I thought I could give back. So check out his uh, video here, subscribe to him, and if you're interested, sign up to the giveaway. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, if you like this kind of con content, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to know how I get sales like this on a regular basis, um, I do have a link in the first, uh, the first link in the description. This one right here, it's a course that I have on Udemy. It's only 20 bucks. It's good for beginners or for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. Um, I'll teach you how I make sales like that on a regular basis. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. Um, next video is going to be a vlog that I was filming actually today. So if you're interested, make sure you have the bell clicked. All right, you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.